tell us in the comments. Don't forget to hit the like button and share this video with everyone you know. Uh, uh, to start off the new year, uh, this uh, session tonight will both be a conclusion of our previous lessons about the elements uh, in reference to what business you can enter a predicate to our next topic which is compatibility among science so it is vital in feng shui to know your element why uh, because in feng shui element is the key to half of your fortune and prosperity uh, the flip side of the coin will be your zodiac sign no so let's say if uh, the element metal is critical. It defines everything that can be the source code of your fortune, which is uh, uh, what field of vocation you can enter, what field of business you can enter and prosper. Let's say metal, you can go banking or even a uh, pawn shop, anything related to metal. And it also tells you what to avoid. Uh, so if you're a metal element person, you avoid fire. No? We have taken this up in our uh, previous modules. So what's key is really to know your element. It's more uh, weighted uh, in terms of uh, your fortune seeking or prosperity seeking in Fuk Sui in relation to your Chinese. Okay. Now, uh, the other part of the coin also is uh, next week, we will tackle how uh, your element is critical in having smooth interpersonal relations with your colleagues, your peers, your business partners, and even in your lab life, you know, how to choose the proper partner, or even in family planning, how to choose the right element and so check sign uh, for your family members no? uh, so as you have a happy, harmonious and progressive family Marjorie Tang Toriano Marjorie Tang Toriano okay, what's your birthday? 1972 1972 or 3? Uh, 72, you're the year of the rat and you're an earth rat also Maria Elizabeth Santa Ana oh, Maria Nineteen sixty. So you're an Earth rat, no? Maring no. Kung ay ko maring ko. Okay. Okay. Nineteen ninety one. So you're a metal ship, no? Uh, be careful, lang if you're a metal ship, because uh, you're very combative, no? Uh, so your relationships can get hurt with uh, too much metal, okay? Julie Kison de Vera. Okay, Julie de Vera. July 4, 1961. 1961, 51? 61. Ox, no? So anything related to trading will be very good for you. Emmy De Castro. Emmy De Castro, okay. April 3, 1977. Uh, your snake and 1977. Oh, John Santa Ana. Oh, John. Okay, Marie John. June 9, 1950. Oh, you're a metal dog. No. So. Anything related to metal. No wonder your uh, past careers were into IT, which is metal related, and banking. Angelito Baltazar. Angelito? Baltazar. Anong uh, birthday? October 20, 1967. 1957. 67. Huh? 67. 67, your year of the ship. Rose Diaz, birthday. September 16, 
1979. You're also year of the ship and uh, your wood ship. Oh, Sonia Dugan, okay. March 6, 1963. 1963, you're a rabbit, you're an earth, your element is earth. Birds, yeah. Oh, birds, okay. August 10, 1966. 1966, okay. Birds, your horse, and you are actually metal horse. Uh, do not follow. This is one tip I'll give you, no? Don't follow internet. They are catch-22, may booby trap yan, mali yung bibigay sa inyo para malasin kayo para mag-consult sa inyo, no? Uh, mag-consult kayo sa kanila. So, ang popular mistaken notion for 1966 is that you're a fire horse. Actually, you're a metal, okay? That's the big difference. Larry? May 28, 1977. Ah, you're a uh, earth snake, no? The element is Earth. Carla Madrigal. Oh, Carla. July 2, 1982. 19? 82. Uh, 82, your year of the dog Carla, and your uh, uh, actually a uh, metal, uh, metal dog. Mary Ann. Uh, Christine Manyanak. Okay. April 22, 1981. Your rooster, and you're an Earth rooster, being female. Nicolo Okay. Uh, July 1, 2011. 2011. So, after Dragon, Dragon is year 2000. Uh, you're actually year of the snake now. And being male, you're an earth snake. Roberto Gerolano. Mm -hmm. April 17, 1956. 1956. So you're an earth monkey. Joyce Custodio. Mm -hmm. March 21, 1945. 1945. Uh, lalaki, no? You're like our president, uh, uh, Duterte. You're a wood rooster. Ryan Mabaye. Mm -hmm. March 3, 1988. Ah. This is again another mistake, no? Uh, you might consider yourself a water dragon being 1988, but because you're male, your real element is uh, actually wood dragon. Number 25, uh, You're sheep, Edward, and uh, you're a wood sheep. Gel di maagila. Oh, gel. Well, I'll be going to your Tita Tintin tomorrow, gel. Uh, architect Gel, di Magila? September 28, 1983. 1983. Uh, 83, Gel, is that you? Uh, I remember your year of the ship, but if you're 83, your year of the pig, your metal pig. Jerry, Gedwaba. Uh huh. April 27, 1984. Ah, uh, April, April, no? So you're an uh, earth rat, no? 1984. Duncan Berry. Mm -hmm. March 12, 1985. March 12, 1985 is uh, year of the ox. Uh, you're actually a wood ox. Edgardo Mwasab. Oh, Ed Mwasab, okay. August 20, 1963. 1963. So rabbit. You're actually a wood rabbit. Edwin Tomasa. Uh huh. Rabbit 21, 1970. Ah, uh, rat, no? You're a wood rat. Nelson Vidal. Okay. Vidal 7, 1967. 1967 sheep, so uh, you're actually metal sheep. Uh -huh. August, uh, October 25, 2004. 2004 is year of the monkey, and if you're male, uh, you're a metal monkey. And uh, if metal, white, then water, blue or black. Now, these lucky colors, you can apply in the multi 
dimensional applications in your life. First of all, you can apply your lucky colors to your clothes. You hear, you hear of power dressing, power fashion, uh, for you to evoke the natural aura that you're in your elements with full confidence, use your lucky colors. And uh, in case you cannot use your lucky colors because you're prescribed a uniform, if you're a, an office employee and you have uniform, you might as well use your lucky colors as underwear, okay? If you're female, both your uh, tops and bottoms and of course if you're male only your bottom unless you wear a bra okay so just one tip let's continue with the uh, questions Maricar 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 Marie okay what's the birthday August 6 2000 2003 2003 is year of the ship Marie, Marie and you're an earth ship so your lucky color would be yellow. So if we apply your tip earlier, you can wear yellow underwear. Uh, 1928 is a wood dragon. Pareho sila ni FBR, 1928-10. And even Dolphy, 1928 Pagani Solarte, December 4, 1994. 94? Uh, lalaki? Huh? Ah, your uh, metal dog. March 30. Ah, Mapuri Solarte. Mm -hmm. March 30, 1997. Ah, you're a wood ox. 1997, male or female, the same element, wood. Erwin Coronado. Okay, Erwin? September 6, 1999. Ah, Erwin, you're a male rooster. So, your uh, metal rooster. Wancho. Okay, Wancho. 2012. Okay, you're a dragon, 2012, and uh, you're a metal dragon. Ah, your ship, Perry, uh, you're actually. Uh, 79. You're a wood sheep. Feng Shui color of the year, huh? white. Up to one third of your attire. You can wear green mixed with white. You can have a white handbag if you're a lady still wearing a green blazer or a pantsuit. Okay? That's how to combine uh, lucky colors. Your personal and the annual mascot color. Okay? So, uh, that's it so far. Next week, we will relate these elements to compatibilities. Kaya kanina, I cited already um, certain couples are considered soulmates because of the element vibes. Your element is actually your source code if you were a computer program. Kung Picos machine kayo, dyan yung pandaraya. Paano kayo manalo? O paano kayo maging winner in life, in the elections of life. Okay? Smartmatic yan. Okay? So, uh, uh, stay tuned for next week in terms of compatibility feng shui using your elements. Later on, we will progress to using naman your Chinese zodiac signs. Okay? So, are you learning? Am I answering your basic question, Aldrich? Paano ako kaya yayaman on you? The acronym is PAQ, okay? So, uh, keep that in mind. Paano kayo yayaman? Stick to your element, okay? Your lucky element. Avoid your unlucky elements in Feng Shui, okay? So, the past sessions, you can rewind uh, in our uh, Philippine Business uh, Feng Shui page. There are uh, replace there of the five element businesses you can enter if you are this particular element. So that's your código. And of course, very common sense, if you're wood, you avoid all the fire element uh, businesses. Those are the unlucky businesses for you. 
So, so far, that's how you reinforce your gradual uh, step-by-step, slow-by-slow introduction to Feng Shui. And that's to start uh, heralding a happy Kong Hei Pa Choi uh, come uh, Chinese New Year, this February 12th, next year. So, with all that, please remember, sa ikaunlad ng bayan, Feng Shui ang kailangan po. Okay? Stay tuned for the next episode only here on Big Media.